I like to think of myself as uh, the founder of Brig. Well, I shouldn't say the founder of Brigman, because the founders of Brigman are Joy and Odd Brigman. Rest in peace. The revitalization of Brigman was started up by me and Dawson Doki. Yeah, we pretty much built this place from the from the bare bones up, and what you see today in Brigman was because of me and Dawson. Well, I used to not live on Brigman, and then and one day I moved there. That's how you get to places. It started in the dark times. It was the COVID year that we came over here. Honestly, we felt shafted. I don't think Briarcrest uh, intended the Brigham to become what it was. There's a lot of things that the outside world isn't ready to hear about the Brigham. <laughs> a lot that I probably cannot share for this documentary. I remember when Levi Rask first moved upstairs. Yeah. It's like a comet hit me right in the forehead and killed me. I think Mark Bushman could probably say a lot more about that. He was pretty instrumental in my uh, transformation. Levi Rask, man. He's a dirty rascal. When I think back to my first week here, I, I came as a freshman. A bunch of old guys, right? Like you got Damon, 27 years old. You got you got old guys. And I come on and they're like, okay, in order for you to be initiated, you have to crawl through the pipe. Crawl through there and then we'll accept you. And I crawled through and I never got accepted. You you do everything you can to be accepted and be loved and, and you never are. The welcoming aspect is still there. Uh, coming in this year, like, oh, now the freshmen that are coming in, I'm like, no, I'm not going to accept you, you know, I'm your RA and I'm supposed to help you out, but like, you're not going to be accepted. I have a first year on the break. Uh, the guys are great. Um, I felt like I was pretty well accepted. The Germans have a, uh, a word called the hinterlands, which is a place far away and disconnected. I think, I think we're kind of like that, you know? And if we have anything in common with the, the outside world is how uncommon we are from it. Kind of like a monastery, you know? The Brig is kind of like a wolf pack. We stick together because we live so far away from everyone else. But that's also kind of the Brig's downfall because I think, I think when people see us, they're, they're scared. Just like you would be scared of a wolf pack. As like, guys, we need to branch out a little bit here. But then when you do that, the boys don't like that. They love you, but their love is misplaced, contorted, and not uh, not what it should be. Almost this obsession with the guys. When one of them breaks off from the herd, they almost get rejected. Yeah, there's a thing that happens when uh, guys on haul get girlfriends. Then they just become like enemy number one on the haul. Yeah, obviously you start you start talking to a girl, and and then you get a girlfriend, and uh, and then they all hate you. One thing I love the most about Brigham too, and this is Brigham too, I'm talking about is when the guys get girlfriends. We celebrate, yeah, you'd think it was Jubilee, though, how crazy we were going. So I think that's one of the biggest challenges being a brig boy, is learning how to be part of the pack, but also be your own man. Blistering winds. So the way Karenport is designed, if you walk to the calf, the wind's blowing in your face. And if you walk to Brigman, the wind's blowing in your face. I even have suspicions if I were to walk up into into the heavens, the wind would blow into my face. We're kind of outsiders in a sense. And I mean, that's true. No girls ever come here for open dorms. Guys, it's open dorms soon. Can you get ready? God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, we actually have three things banned on Brigman Hall: Ike from Smash Bros, Jordan Peterson, and women. Women probably perceive us like. Why are they running away from me? <laughs> Why are they looking at me weird? Like, uh, I'm really uncomfortable. Like, not that we're trying to make them uncomfortable. We just don't really know how to act. Just to be clear, like, brick guys don't, like, brick guys guys like, like women. Brigman, like a, like a tea bag left in water for too long is, is too rich to talk about just in one sentence, so I'll just give one of these. What the Brig is, is brotherhood. I see a, I just see a brotherhood. It's the brotherhood of like, okay, I know I can tell any of the guys on, on dorm anything, and I know that it's gonna stay in, in our, on our hall, because nobody's friends with anyone outside of the Brig. Bosco Chang, oh, I could talk for hours. Bosco last year was an international student on our hall. The Brig is a U, and then Bosco's in the center, and not only was his room in the center, but he was the center of everyone's heart. And he was the center of what everyone was always thinking about. I'm just gonna sit in my room in the quiet. Nope, you can hear Bosco all the time because he's the center just of what was going on at the brig. Temple of Peace, Noah's room just down the hall. He has a rule set up where you can't go on your phone in Noah's room. 
try to sc scroll or whatever on your phone and he'll kick you out. Everyday life on Brigman, if I could give you like a day in the life, kind of just go to chapel, you go to your classes and then the rest of the day is absolutely nothing. Well, we, uh, we don't do much. Average day on the hall, I get back from class, immediately you're, you're swarmed and just filled with the sweet, sweet symphonies of, of all the guys on dorm just playing their instruments constantly. Every single guy on Brigman is an expert at classical guitar. They never take breaks. They're always on their guitar. Corbin Gangenbach has had a saying for a while that um, some things never change, and um, I don't think Brigham will ever change. Probably will always be the same. Some things never change. I don't imagine Brig will last long after I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs>